Yo, what's good with y'all? So today we're talking AI, which is a very hot topic right now. So basically, if you lived under a rock and you didn't know this already, everybody's been talking about how to make their work easier by implementing AI or letting AI do their work for them. And the music industry is no different. And I think it's just a matter of time until big companies start to implement AI into their plugins, which is a feature that 20 years ago people would kill for. But in today's world, it's becoming more and more of a standard and a requirement than it is a feature. And in today's video, I'm gonna pick my best ways to implement AI into your workflow so that you can make beats easier and faster. So if you wanna find out how the future of music sounds like, stick around to the end of the video. And yeah, like always, without any further ado, let's hop right in. So we're gonna start off easy, and hopefully by now everybody knows about ChatGPT. If you don't, it's a chatting platform developed by OpenAI, which allows you to get answers from a chatting AI, which answers your questions in detail depending on what you ask it to do. And you can basically use this to any extent this is one creative way to get rid of beat block is by asking chat GPT to make you a chord progression in a style and we're gonna test it right now so the goal here is to get a melody out of chat GPT that I can actually transpose into MIDI so I went ahead and chose a style so I randomly chose a little baby type beat so I told chat GPT to give me a melody in the style of little baby using a piano and this was its answer it basically gave me a very detailed explanation step by step on how to implement a melody into MIDI which is exactly what I asked for and this is what these instructions sound like actually played into notes Just make sure that if you're on the free version, don't ask it for a MIDI file because it might give you this error. So yeah, just make sure you ask it the right thing and it will always give you good results. At least good enough to get you out of a creative block, which is basically what we're searching for here. Next up is a plugin called Magenta DDSP, which turns your voice into instruments. So this might have some pretty good practicalities. If you have a melody in your head and you want to quickly transpose it into FL Studio, maybe add some effects and make it sound more melodic. So I wanted to see how much potential this plugin had, but first I had to test it, so here's me testing this plugin. And keep in mind that the following recording is just me singing with my voice and the plugin turning my voice into an instrument, which I think could be very useful for making samples. Here's what it sounds like. <coughs> Next we have two plugins, both from Unison. The first one is called the MIDI Wizard, which is a melody maker, an AI melody maker. So basically you give it some inputs and settings and it outputs a MIDI melody in the style that you choose. And the second one is called the Drum Monkey, which is basically the same thing, but for drums only. So I wanted to see if I could make a whole beat using these two plugins, one for melody and one for drums. So I tried making some melodies with the first one and this is what I ended up doing.
Then I made some jumps with the second plugin and try to match it to the melody and this is what it ended up giving me. I'd say this is great for giving ideas, but it's not def it's definitely not the best way to make placement ready melodies and this is definitely not a replacement for a beat maker yet, but it is pretty cool still nonetheless. It's pretty cool that you can get out the beat block by using some plugins. These can give you ideas if you're really stuck. These basic melodies you can develop later into something more complex. And the next plugin, I'm sure that you've heard of it, is actually a part of the Arcade plugin, which is Arcade's automatic slicer and sampler. You can use this with any custom sample. You basically give the program a sample and it slices it up into chops that can then be played into a MIDI, basically like any other sampler in Arcade. So it basically takes the sample and transforms it into a line which is basically a bunch of chops and slices made out of an original sample that can then be played into MIDI very similar to how SliceX works and just for the purpose of this video I'm going to use one of the samples that is already in the plugin and I'm just gonna make a line out of it and here's what it sounds like <laughs> Baby, I'm <laughs> 
This is of course pretty neat, especially if you make drill beats, which are basically just sample chops, but obviously it can be used for any other genre. And yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Keep in mind that this was around for a while, so it is AI, but it's really not that developed. It just notices some changes in tonality and pitch in the sample and then draws a line there. It's not always the best, it's not always accurate, but it's way better than SliceX and I think it's worth the investment. And next up and the final plugin is one I actually found on TikTok which is called Doubler2. It's very similar to the previous one called Magenta DDSP and it basically takes your voice and turns it into an instrument but this can be done for drums as well which is what makes this plugin stand out so much. Now I'm just gonna do a showcase of it of what I found on TikTok because it's still very experimental and I don't need the plugin so I'm not gonna buy it because it's pretty pretty expensive it's 150 bucks or something which for a plugin is not really that much but it, I don't think this is worth the investment for me personally but it's still a pretty cool plugin to have especially if you find yourself very often in the situation that you have a melody in your head but you can't really play it into MIDI this program lets you sing trumpets let's create another section where we activate the chord feature five plugins but I think there's way more to come when it comes to AI replacing manual work you have to do in FL Studio 21 and as a sound engineer producer etc and there's also one little neat feature that was added to FL Studio that is worth mentioning which is the AI splitter which can basically separate drums vocals melodies and top line instruments from an mp3 sample and yeah let me know if you like the video if you want to see more on this topic or AI let me know down in the comments and if you like the video please leave a like and comment to boost the algorithm and until the next time peace